Hey, this is Brooke Drum, and I'm here at Printerbot, printerbot.com, with a new Metal Simple. And I have got this prep to show you the procedure in setting the height of your sensor. So if you've built a kit, you'll know how to set up your sensor. It's pretty important to go slow on this because uh, you don't want to end up with scratches on the bed. So, uh, first thing, you've got a light on top of your sensor here, and when that light goes red, that means that you have come into contact, or non-contact as it were, with the sensor. And I'm happy to report that that actually happens when it's right above, uh, right at the right height that uh, you want to print at. Um, but, to go slow, uh, what you'll do first is you'll get your um, little wrenches out, and these are going to last very long, They're long enough to, to get this dialed in for the first time. And what we do is we set the sensor on, we set the tip on the bed, <clears throat> there it's touching the tape, and this is intended to uh, be the height at which you set your sensor. I'm a little high right now, I just kind of guessed. So I can hold this top one, loosen the bottom one, and then I, I can edge that down a little bit. <clears throat> so you want to end up with this uh, just touching. It's still a little high. Um, so adjust that as you need. Let's see here, I'm going to loosen that. Tighten the bottom up a little bit. So, I've intentionally gone a little bit high here, but you know what, for the sake of doing this exactly like I want you to do it, there it goes, it was catching on a thread. So anyway, um, you'll get this set to where it touches. Now, uh, I'm a little bit high, so I'm going to get a little different result, I think. Now, before you, you, you've got to get the firmware, the latest firmware, and that has some special code in there. And what that does is replaces the ZN stop with this non-contact sensor, and it has to get it power, so we've done some stuff in the firmware to get it power. Um, but it's going to sense about four millimeters, uh, depending on the metal. It looks like it's, a, it's sensing at about two, three millimeters right now. It's an aluminum bed, so um, it's going to vary a little bit. And you're going to set this sensor at different heights than somebody else who's setting it up um, when you measure in 0.1 millimeters or very, very small increments. You're all going to get separate, res different results. So I can't just tell you where to set it so it will work. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Now, I'm in Repetier, I'm on Windows, and I'm going to use G-Code. First thing I'm going to do is check my M501 so that I can read my settings. The last setting here is M212X20Y0Z, and I was fiddling with this earlier, uh, Z negative 0.7. Um, so I've got it fairly close, but I'm going to change this um, for the sake of the tutorial to capital M212. You can set all three at once, or you can set one at a time. I'm going to set Z, capital Z, and I'm going to set it to zero. And I'm going to hit send. Then I'm going to M, capital M, 500 to save it to the firmware, capital M, 501 to be sure I saved it to the firmware, and I did. So next thing you want to do is home X, home Y, and then I will home Z. Now when you're doing this, you might want to consider, I've been heating up the, uh, the hot end, you want to consider that uh, this hot end will actually grow in length as it heats up, very slightly. Uh, but it might measure 0.5 millimeters difference, um, give or take. So you want to make sure this is totally hot. 
Another thing with using the non-contact sensor is in your slicer settings, you're going to want to go to the uh, custom G code in the in the last tab at the top for your printer and put in uh, remove the home all command from the starting G code and replace it with capital G28 space X zero <clears throat> to home X and then space capital Y zero to home Y so you do this home X home Y thing first and then next line capital G29 and then that will go and it will test your bed now it does take a minute to do that it's going to come up to release a sensor if it's engaged come back down measure one point measure the next point at the bottom measure the next at the bottom right and that gives it a plane in that it can interpret the G code that you load to be uh, adjusting constantly the Z axis so that if it's going downhill or uphill or it's tilted at some angle and it's not completely and totally truly flat which has always been the finicky nature of printers this removes that uh, bed leveling and it kind of does it in software in the firmware so your Z is going to be acting all the time up and down unless you have a completely and totally flat bed and you happen to get a perfect uh, a perfect bot and it won't need to adjust the Z but anyway so you're going to want to replace that starting G code when you slice so that every uh, slice um, has that you'll get bad results if you don't do that um, you could dive into the bed scrape the powder coating scrape the tape off it won't know where to stop so uh, make sure you do that all right so then we uh, home dex home Y home Z and now I can load up a print which I believe I have one loaded here but just uh, to be sure this is a fan shroud but really what I'm looking for is the skirt around the print is going to tell me what kind of stick I'm going to get all right so hold your breath get your hand on the power cord in case you need to pull it because you did it wrong and your height is too low because uh, if it's too low um, or if it if it's a uh, the sensor it thinks the sensor is too high um, it could have bad results so let's see if I can start the print and we'll see it should be warmed up by now <clears throat> let's see here yeah so it's homing and it should be it should print high it's going to be a trial and error uh, to find the perfect height so that first layer is exactly where it needs to be. It's checking the plane first, waiting uh, to get to temperature, and then it will kick off the print. I'm always nervous, so I might <clears throat> bail out if it's too low by just pulling the power. I got my finger on the bed here because you can actually flex this bed a little bit and if it does dive down and it's too low I could press real hard and uh, kind of force the bed down a little bit so I don't do any damage okay it's fine but I can see that it, there's no stick at all it's just kind of dumping it out in midair so it's definitely not uh, dialed in yet and that's actually good for this tutorial so I'll kill the job and you can see this just flakes right off so it's a little high so let's try again come back go to my manual control go into the g-code bar capital M212 well let me check out I forgot what it was set at um, M501 capital letters Okay, so it's at zero. So I'm going to go M212 space Z minus 0.8. So I'm just going to go down, uh, oh, whoops, I'm sorry, minus 0.2. I'm going to go down just two, or at least uh, tell it to make an adjustment of a negative 0.2 millimeters. Send that capital M500, capital M501 to check. Down here, you, you might have to spread that window. Um, I see that it did save, so I'll run the job again. 
see if I get a different result. A little better stick on that first layer. The panic is kind of over now because I know that I'm high enough that I'm not going to scrape my bed unless I make a dramatic change and I think, uh, I, you know, I'll go a millimeter difference, man, it would, it would just dive right into the bed and scrape it all up, so. You go very cautiously. I recommend 0.2 millimeter adjustments until uh, you really feel like that's a great first layer. And then you can uh, go with that. You're done with your calibration once you find that first layer height. So it's warming up. Perfect time for editing. Here we go. Now it's still high. And it's high enough where it's just kind of gooping around. Oh, there we go. It's still high, but it's I mean, it's just flaking off, but man, I'm really close. So, I will kill the job one more time. Clear the bed, and I'm gonna go M212, Z, capital Z, minus 0.4. So I've gone from minus 0.2 to minus 0.4. I'll send capital M500, capital M501, enter, run the job. <coughs> Now make sure your, your tip is cleaned off. It seems to be oozing a little bit in between prints. Just cleaning that off. Hopefully I get a better first layer. And don't use metal uh, to grab that junk filament because uh, if you wave metal underneath this sensor, it'll think, oh, I know where the bed is. And uh, again, there'll be bad results. Okay, so it's adhering all the way. But it's still, it's kind of sitting on top. Um, you want a little squish on that outside um, skirt. So now I'm gonna, I'm really close. So I'm gonna kill the job one more time. I'm gonna make a 0.1 adjustment. So I forget where I was. Point, um, minus 0.4. So I'm gonna go M212 space, capital Z, minus 0.5. Enter, capital M500, capital M501 to check. There it is. Run the job again. I think I'm gonna be real close here. When you get it to finally stick, slow down on your adjustments. Got a little squeak, I need to oil that. cleaning that plastic off, it kind of grabs on that Delrin a little bit. Now, it's sitting a little high right now while it's waiting. Don't let that fool you. Um, just because it's sitting high doesn't mean you should stop and make it, make it even lower because it dives down in the last moment before it moves over, so. I mean, this looks pretty good. I think it maybe is still a little high, but I'd rather be a little high and try a print or two before uh, getting too aggressive. Uh, remember, you want that hot end to heat up first, uh, about 10 minutes before you set your height because it's going to change as it grows um, and expands. Remember to put your custom uh, slice starting g-code commands in slicer uh, to every print 
And once you get this thing dialed in with these commands, um, you'll be ready to print a beautiful print every time on the first try. So no more finicky uh, nature because even if the bed does end up warping or changing shape a little bit, uh, it will adjust, it'll, it'll probe at the beginning of every print and adjust that firmware will adjust so that it, it knows where it is. Constantly moving Z. So man, it's looking really, really nice. So there you go. A little tutorial on how to set your non-contact sensor with the printer bot, uh, the printer board firmware that we've uh, got all ready for you to make printing easier. So, happy printing.